I am Kevin's original jiu-jitsu coach. You know, he, he came in here when he was uh, 18 years old, and he's been training with me ever since then. I, I can't wait for Kevin's fight. You know, he's a tough opponent. You know, fighting at elevation is tough. He, Kevin will do great. Kevin is a whole different animal at welterweight than he was at middleweight, and we know he was a terror at middleweight. Ah. Yes, sir, baby. It's exhausting. His awareness, his length, he's like climbing into a blender and having somebody hit full speed. It sucks, and I feel bad for Chiesa because if he does get to his hips and gets him on the ground, that's just a whole nother facet of Kevin's game that's expanding by the day. So it's been a fun day. Good class overall. Only did three rounds with the warm-ups. That's a wrap for me. I'm light right now, so keep it easy, keep it sweet, avoid injuries, and uh, hopefully we can go hop in old school and go to the fights. For everything. 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 Okay, let's start with the boots, because then we can build your outfit from there. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. Finally, I'm going to be like, you know, true cowboy. <laughs> I think I need uh, bigger. 11? Yeah. Okay, let's Because I've bigger. got big, big foot here, you know? Okay. Like. You have what? So big foot. <laughs> I'm big foot. I think we need a whole outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Sweat. Yeah, I do my I do my training session now. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, but now they are very good. <laughs> yeah, I have to buy for my son also. Yes. You need a big belt buckle. Definitely, but I'm not sure about the shirt. Pants are fine, boots as well, uh, but I'm not quite sure with the with the shirt. But definitely, you miss the belt. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. How's he look? She's she don't feel it. She's the one that matters. No, 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 no. no. I feel that I'm gonna wear this outfit for the press conference because I feel that you know my acclimatization is right now it's full thanks to this outfit. <laughs> okay. No, no more shopping in. Uh, Two years time. Yeah, yeah, for two years. <laughs> so now we gotta figure out where the hat rack is out here. I know they got like a little lids or shit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of white people. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab something just to represent. You know, I got something that could I could remember by. Like man, this is when I was out there in Salt Lake. It right there. I like that red and white. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Y'all can stitch stuff. Yeah. You want to stitch King on the side for me? Sure. That'd be hard. Like Let's go to Zoomies then. Dog. See what they got over there. Oh yeah. I don't know if I should get the hat now or if I should get this. Oh. Clean. There we go. Oh, no, nah, bro, I'm good, I'm good. Thank you, appreciate you. Got the official King logo on there, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was St. Louis. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was St. Louis too. But I'm like, all right, I'm gonna rock my little salt legs so they know what's up. <laughs> Represent, you know? Don't be alarmed. We're black. <laughs> <laughs> Sentindo muito bem, né? Semana aqui, mais tranquilo dos treinos, né? Agora é preocupar mais um pouco com a perda de peso, mas está tudo dentro do controle. Pô, a gente planejou muito bem, está tudo certo. Aí tão rápido, dá nem para ver, né? Ó, é rápido demais, né? Dá nem para ver. Dá nem para ver. Daqui a pouco ia ficar lento, né? Pô, subindo pô, meio pesado, vai ficar lento, rápido. E aí? Quem que viu aí? Duvido alguém ter visto. I think it's a great matchup. The guy's tough. But look at I'm seeing this man right now. Anything can happen on a fight, but I think in general, I believe in Alex Pereira 100%. Vai subir de categoria e ele vai ficar mais lento. Não, e na verdade ele sempre, sempre esteve nessa performance. Pô, 
estou consciente que era essa luta, estou preparado e, pô, tá chegando. We're out here uh, in Midway at Charleston Park celebrating Pioneer Day. So they've got a vintage car show that Coach T, Wonderboy, wanted to check out and so just kind of enjoying the holiday. My love for cars started when I was a teenager. My first car was a 66 Impala. Check this out. 426 Super Stock, Mopar, baby. Hey, Wesson, let's go check the Broncos out. All my boys are car lovers. Uh, Steven's into fast cars. My dream car has always been a Toyota Supra, which I have a 93, 1300 horsepower, 2JZ, 76 millimeter turbo. It's sick. One of the beauties of being out here at this park, it's a great distraction from the stress, the training, pressure that goes along with being in fight week. So this kind of helps us to decompress just a little bit into something that he and I both love. Dude. Dude. Get after it, dude. dude. my guy. Dude, I'll, I'll be there cheering I for you next week. I appreciate it, buddy. Hey, much nice respect, man. Nice to meet y'all. Y'all enjoy hi, the dummy. Hi. This guy kicks kick anybody's butt in this whole, in the whole <laughs> state. Know. Well, <laughs> most of the whole world. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate you opening up, man, staying open. Thank you. Cheers. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, wah, 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 yeah. Nice, you got me on that one. Okay. Dustin is very, like, uh, in the element type of person, you know. As of right now, he's been at this for nine plus weeks, so he's just anxious to get in there. He's been training, he's been dieting. Bang, bang, there you go. Make him more count. Wah, wah, wah. You know, the suffering and the sacrifice is here, and this is what we all put it on the line for. I'm doing this because I have unfinished business personally and what I set out to do in this sport. That's what this is about. It's about legacy and it's about me crossing that last goal of being an undisputed world champion off my list. I'm not doing this because I have to, I'm doing this because I want to and I feel like that makes me so much more dangerous these days. I'm addicted to it and I need it and I need this hit Saturday and let's get, let's get nasty man. I'm, that's what I want. I want to fight. Yeah. We're back here at Crown BJJ owner talked to us and said, hey, would it be okay if some of my members came down on Monday night? And, you know, you know, look at all these people here. Oh, you can't get me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, it's like wrestling a buffalo. I gotta make him look good on camera, you know? When the camera's off, that's when the beatings come. I give him. Give it. Anyway, it's like, oh my god, good. The first one hurts. Yeah. Fun day, not too hard on his body. Yesterday we had a full day off. This one's like a half go today, so a little bit of rolling and take a little bit of the impact off. Nice hand position, Justin. Head time. We did a little bit of just fun mitts for the crowd to watch and, you know, get to see a fighter at the highest level. This is really cool. One, two, three, one, two. <laughs> Justin's a guy that likes to have a lot of fun, and he's got a different demeanor this time. You know, he knows what he's facing. He's facing Justin, the best in the world, you know, outside of the champion. <laughs> That's beautiful. We expect this to be the toughest fight in his career, so time to go to war. Whoa. Thanks, guys. 